Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 20th of 2023 well, it is titled Galaxies and a Comet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a number of galaxies. And in fact, many of the objects that you see in this image are galaxies. And there's two very prominent ones, the one toward the upper left, which appears largest in this image, and is a relatively nearby galaxy being only 23 and a half million light years away. So that is one prominent spiral galaxy here. The other one we see a little bit to the right of center. And that is another galaxy about almost three times more distant 60 million light years away. So spiral galaxies are many of them are roughly the same size. So just by looking at them, you can kind of get an idea of distance. Now that doesn't work perfectly because you might have some that are half the size or twice the size of others. But they don't have an extreme variation in sizes uh, as the elliptical galaxies do. Now the other object that we're looking at here is the comet and this is Comet Lemon and a Comet Lemon was found in a survey data from the Mount Lemon survey and here we see that down below. Now it's currently relatively close to us about one astronomical unit away and that's about the distance between Earth and Sun. So it's we see it there and that's relatively close but it will be getting closer over the coming weeks and in fact it will reach perihelion in about a week from now and perihelion is the time when it makes its closest approach to the sun and then a couple of weeks later it'll make its closest approach to earth. So it may get a little bit brighter, but right now it's even hard to find with a pair of binoculars. So it will be continually getting brighter over the coming weeks. And we will see as with other comets how well this brightens. It depends on a lot of factors, the nature of the comet itself, and how much material there is because the comet nucleus is only a few kilometers across. It's a very small piece of this. But the material vaporized from that as it gets close to the sun is what makes the bright green coma that we see there. And that is what allows the comet to be visible. If it were not for that, the comet would be just this ball of ice that would be almost completely invisible to us as it speeds through the solar system. So we will have to see over the coming weeks if a comet lemon brightens enough to become easily more easily visible in binoculars and possibly visible even to the naked eye. So that was our picture of the day for October 20th of 2023. It was titled Galaxies and a Comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Observe the Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.